Uh, just uh, obviously very disappointed, uh, uh, you know, with with the outcome, especially the second half. Uh, you know, we just had a number of things not go right that we needed to, uh, and it wasn't any one area. It was special teams, it was offense, it was defense. The turnovers uh, hurt us, uh, the kick return hurt us, and then, you know, the 99-yard drive hurt us. And so we got to give them credit. Uh, San Jose played a very good uh, second half. Um, we fell short. We didn't respond when we needed to. And we got to find, uh, we really got to find a little bit more mental toughness and more finish. Um, and so that's something that we'll go back. We'll look at the film. We'll try to learn from this. And, um, you know, uh, we're going to go to a bowl game. Uh, we'll see where that takes us. But uh, um, we'll find that out here in the next few days and get back on the practice field. All right, uh, if you hang on just one second here. And questions now for Coach. Coach, just how surprising was everything you had mentioned that second half? It wasn't just one area. It seemed like nothing was going your way, really. Just how surprising was it after that first half? Things were looking pretty swell. I mean, you make your own momentum. I mean, when you play good football teams, the momentum goes back and forth. And, uh, you know, if you want to find a way to win, you got to make plays. And it's all about playmakers, you know, guys that can make plays on offense, defense, and special teams. And we didn't make the plays in the second half. It's that simple. They played tougher than we did. And you got to give them credit. And uh, there's really no secrets to it. Uh, we got we got to play better, and our playmakers got to step up and show up, and that didn't happen. So give San Jose credit. They did. They they made the plays. Um, we got to live with that and, and find a way to be better. And uh, you know when we when we do, we'll win that those kind of games. And what was just the immediate message to your team after this one? Obviously, with them being you know just distraught. Just basically what I just told you, <laughs> you know, we got to be better. We, you know, the game was in the balance, and uh, you know, we didn't make the enough plays the second half, uh, and it wasn't any one area. It was offense, defense, special teams. You know, our kids have done a really good job this year. You know, with you know, except for a handful of plays, we played at a very high level. Uh, but today was a game where the stakes, you know, were what they were. And you have to respond, you know, when the game's in the balance. And, you know, I got to look in the mirror and see how I can be better to help our guys in those situations. And and we'll do that. We'll look at it and, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll take self-inventory on things we could do better. Uh, but the bottom line is, you know, you got to you got to play with a level of mental toughness. And you got to fight through the rough spots, and, and uh, you know we just didn't respond well enough in the second half. Coach, where do you think was the big? Oh, where do you think was the biggest turning point? Do you think it was you know going into the locker room when the field goal was missed there, or just coming out you know, and then in the third quarter there? Or? No, I just think all of it. I mean, uh, I mean. That's very uncharacteristic of us missing a field goal. I thought we did a, a, a really good job of getting down into, into field goal position. Um, you know, anytime you give up a kickoff return, that's just not good. It's hard to overcome that. You know, we're going in on the half yard line. We fumble the ball. Uh, then we, we let them go 99 yards and score. I mean, those are just things that you just can't do and expect to win and so you know I told our guys we don't need to have our heads hanging and we don't need to be crying in the locker room I mean they did the things they needed to do to win and we did it and uh, so we have to find a way to be better and that's just that's just the bottom line and, and uh, 
you know, we'll 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 look at it, and as coaches, I'll we'll, I'll look at it and see the things that I need to do better. And our kids got to be realistic about what they they can do better as well. So, um, you know, it's just a, a bitter pill to swallow. Um, you don't get in be in these situations very often, and and we certainly, uh, you know, we'll look at this and and see how we can learn from it. And as you mentioned before, Coach, most likely you'll be invited to a bowl game. Uh, just how good is that to where there's a real possibility this is not the way you end this shortened season? No, I think we got a chance to finish, you know, uh, with a bowl win, which will be really good and important this year. Um, and uh, it'll be important that we finish strong and, and finish with a win. And, and so we're looking forward to that. Um, that's something that uh, that will really, uh, you know, would, would put a good stamp on this season. These kids have worked really hard. They sacrifice an awful lot with this COVID and everything we've had to do to play. And so, you know, I'm really proud of them for that. Uh, everybody's disappointed tonight, but uh, they've done a lot of things right. And uh, we got to look at the positive things that they have done. Jay, did you get a good look at, at Toa's fumble inside the one? Because I think there was a collective shock from Wolfpack fans when that wasn't overturned and even some calling for an investigation into maybe that replay official. But it's hard to say that one play changes, you know, the entire game. There was so much left to play. But uh, did you get a good look at that? Yeah, I, I mean, I thought he was down. I thought his knee was down. I thought the replay would show that. I don't know. I mean, it's... The officiating has been questionable all year for us, and um, that's just the truth. So, uh, you know, I, I, we'll look at the film and we'll look at the replays, and we'll we'll try to try to sort it all out. With that said, you're you know one of two teams in the league to, to finish this schedule out and play all eight of your games. I know that's something you pulled a lot of pride in, just the, the, the road to get to this point and get all these games in, because that was really the goal at the beginning of this. Yeah, I just I give our medical staff and our and our players a lot of credit. You know, um, they sacrificed a lot to uh, you know to play this season and. Uh, you know, and, and, and it showed. I mean, uh, there's a reason that, uh, you know, that we were able to get all of our games in. And, um, you know, and so I, I'm very proud of that. Um, obviously, we're disappointed about the outcome tonight, but very, very proud how our guys have responded that way. Anything else for Coach? Coach. Just gonna say one thing, just quick, Coach. Um, just how how big is it just to learn from a game like this? You know, just to have your guys to be able to take this night to digest what's going on, but then to have a short memory because you do guys, you do still have a future this season. Yeah, you know, um, you know, we won't play this week, but we'll play uh, in 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 a couple weeks probably, and uh, you know, it's an important lesson, Shannon. I mean. Uh, very, very disappointing. I felt like we had a team that could compete in the championship game, uh, play, play here, play there. Um, maybe we change our, our luck in this game. Um, but, you know, I still think we have a team where we need to respond and we need to play better. I, I felt like we were really on the verge of breaking through several times this year. If we could have had a big victory, we probably ranked in the top 25. If we really put put the hammer on somebody, and we just couldn't get that done. We just did not show that ability. And so we need to find more playmakers. We need to get more mentally tough. And uh, we need to respond uh, with more physicality and more finish at spots when we can as a program. And, uh, and we're gonna work really hard at that, you know. Uh, I felt like we were capable of doing that this year, uh, but we still have a little ways to go and to where we can be that kind of team. So we'll keep working at it and uh, we'll keep adding to this. Uh, signing date's coming up this week. We gotta get some good players in here that have that attitude and we'll just continue to work at that.
thing we were talking to coach earlier he said it wasn't just you know one thing you could point to in the second half it just seemed like really nothing was going your way how did you see that second half playing out and just what exactly happened I mean it's a tough hard to, a tough thing to come back from when uh, they bust out the, the kick return on on the first play of the of the third quarter and then things just went downhill from there um, yeah like you said I can't pinpoint exactly what went wrong it just seemed like Everything was going wrong, and, and we couldn't we couldn't find our groove or anything like that. Did they freeze? Sam, how much can you just do? You feel momentum shift in a game like that, or is it just every moment's coming by too fast? No, um, a game like this, coming out of halftime, I I feel like we were all fired up and and uh, ready to go, but. They came out and they they made adjustments that they needed to, and and uh, that coaching staff did what they had to do to, to come out with a win, and and uh, we we didn't do enough, and and that's that. Sam, how important is it just you know in a game like this that you guys learn from it because you do still have you know a chance to do something um, this season, and your guys' year isn't over just yet. Yeah, yeah, we're not done, and I'm super, super thankful for that. Um, that'll that'll be a good chance for for the guys that that didn't quite play their best to, to make up for it, and uh, for the young guys to gain a, a lot of experience of, of what it's like to, to lose a comeback game like this. And, and uh, yeah, like you said, hopefully this is a learning experience for for most mostly everybody. Sam has been talked about before that you know you are one of very few teams in the Mountain West that uh, got your games, and now you look back, all eight of your games have been played. Uh, what do you think? What has gotten you guys to this point? I mean, we've been preparing since since June. I'm, I'm sure you guys have heard that plenty of times, and um, that's the that's the disappointing part. And it's the fact that we work so hard, and and uh, here we are, but. Um, yeah, just just all the hard work that goes into it. It's it's not easy, and, and you like to see us come out with a win. But um, they did what they took to win, and, and that's that.